quick word before the episode proper gets started. I had a massive problem with the audio in this particular episode. For some reason, every minute or two, it would desynchronize with uh, the visuals. So I'd be reacting to things before they happened on screen. I'm not 100% sure why any of that was the case, but it did mean I had to go through this video and every couple of minutes break the audio, drag it across, find out where it resynchronized, get it playing again, then a few minutes later stopping, doing the same thing over and over again. So there will be several periods of slightly extended silence as, as I said, there's just me pushing the audio along a few seconds to catch up with, uh, well, so the video can catch up with it. <laughs> uh, and there is also, of course, one section where the audio completely disappeared for quite a while, so I've had to show a bit of Mischief Maker in there, and I, I made the background a bit of a funny colour as well, just to give you something to look at while we wait. Um, I would have just deleted the entire section that uh, the audio was on. Unfortunately, there was a lot of text on screen at the time, so I left it up to give you know, you viewers an opportunity to read it, since what you should be hearing is me reading it out. But, uh, as I said, that particular bit decided to disappear, so... Yes, that's what I've had to deal with, so that's why you've had to deal with it too. Okie kokey, on with the episode. Welcome mortals, I am Dark Lord Kaiser, this is the Talos Principle, and I'm coming down from the Tower of Death because there's bugger all else to do up there. I perhaps could have waited till after I got to the bottom to start the recording, but I... What the hell, we've started now. Let's just look at the view through our grate that kind of resembles a prison now I look at it. Which is surprisingly apt, given that the whole purpose of this game is basically one giant escape room. So, where to... My child. Ah! You may go freely to all the worlds of my garden. Oh, that's good, because I've been going to the worlds up but there. if the tower tempts you, oh. be wise. Do not let yourself be misled by doubt. It's not doubt that's leading me up there, it's curiosity. I want to know what's up the Tower of Death. Aside from death, obviously. I mean, we already know that's what's up there, but I want to know what else is up there. I'm seeing lightning. I want to go play with the thunder. That is probably a bad attitude to take now I think about it, but whatever. Right. Let's go down into the deep down, deep dark down. By which I mean back to Sandy Place. Whee! Oh no, the animator's going to crash. Jump before the bottom so we don't all die. I can't jump. Oh god, I'm going to die. I'm well aware that that won't actually save you if an elevator's in free fall. Because you'd need to jump up at the same speed that the elevator was... Uh, I keep saying elevator, lift. That the lift was falling. And uh, if the lift's at terminal velocity, that's like... Let's say it's 20 miles an hour. Do you really think you could jump upwards at 20 miles an hour? I don't. I mean, I haven't even bothered working out what uh, terminal velocity of a falling lift would be, but if it's anywhere near that... And bear in mind that if you get hit by a car going at 20 miles an hour, you're probably going to be fine. So, I'm guessing you're going significantly faster than 20. But, pff, I don't know. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> I do the beep boop. Are we talking to Milton or just looking at a list? We're looking at a list. Osiris 7. What are they? Tell me of the fearsome demons of the Duat, the dying man said to the wise scribe. Though their terrible forms are loathsome to behold, they are not evil, for they are the servants of the gods. Truly, they are the blessed doorkeepers and guardians of the holy path. Their charge is to judge whether we are worthy to pass the gates that lead us to Auru. I have no idea how to pronounce that word, so I'm probably changing it every time it comes to a jump. And so they challenge us with riddles, or in combat. Is this true of all the beings that live in the Duat? Some say that this is not so. That there are ancient gods whose names have been forgotten, and spirits of darkness whose names none of us.
quite interesting to read, I'll admit, but not not helpful. Ow, I just managed to catch my headphones on my chair. I don't even know how that's possible. Coming soon, your son, in 3D. Hi, Mom. I promise I'll be home soon, maybe a couple of weeks. I know, I know, but what we're doing here is important, and the team needs my help. I'm not going to wait until it's too late, I promise. But there's so much we have to set up, so much that has to work for a very, very long time. Besides, I've always wanted to work on one of these supercomputers, and believe me, EL is pretty much the best there is. And the team, Mom, it's like I'm working with rock stars and mad geniuses. Except nobody's heard of them outside of science journals, of course. But Dad would be totally geeking out if he knew. Maybe I can tell her about it soon, huh? Love, Rob. Log 24 Alive. What is the point of being alive? Well, if you're at this point in your life, you probably not much point anymore. If everyone's dead or dying. Whatever. That's, that's, uh, that was a very dark trend of thought. Let's not get that one. What is the point of being alive? I know, I know. It's an old question and not one that's easy to answer. But I mean, if you're reading this, you are alive. Presumptuous of you. I could be a ghost. I'm a robot. My definition of alive is very strange in that situation. I'm not organic. I'm not alive in any biological form. I may be a life, but alive? Eh, that's a that's a metaphysical discussion that we're probably not getting into right now. Anyway, both of these facts are incontrovertible. I just controverted it. I don't know if that's a word, but shut up. So what about it then? Don't you wonder? Do you just want to go from not existing to existing to not exist again? Without even considering why? You, right now, as you sit there reading this, why do you exist? What is the purpose of your life? Do you have one? Should you have one? Is it better to have a purpose or not? When you approach death, will you feel that your life had meaning? If so, why? If not, why not? What defines whether a life was good or not? It may seem abstract right now, but that moment just before death will come. It is inevitable. If you don't ask yourself these questions, how will you face that moment? Joke's on you, buddy. I plan to live forever. So far, so good. I'm pretty sure that's a joke I've stolen from somewhere, but I don't know. Actually, no, I think I've definitely stolen a joke from somewhere. I just can't remember who. Woody Allen, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to go for a wander because I've not seen this place before. Yeah, I've got a couple of uh, nice mountains over there. This thing. Ah! Oh god, I'm drowning! What do I do? Thought there might be a QR code or something on it. This seems like a nice place to go fishing. I, d I very much doubt it. I don't really fish live in this particular bit, but it gets deeper pretty quickly. How do I cut? No, no. I'm oh, sorry, I thought there was a QR code over there, but apparently it's just Elohim shouting at me again. It's not even a QR code, it's just a hole in the wall. How do I... words made the world wow, I can jump right out of the water from here. Okay, I don't see a way of getting up there. I thought that might be a, a thing. What the hell? Is that the moon? Huh. Oh, now I think about it. I think there was a, a moon in a previous episode. Looks a lot smaller in this one. I don't think that's how orbiting satellites work. Oh, for the love of... How in the name of buggering Christ am I supposed to get up there? Oh, that's how, I guess. What do you say? I've been running this gauntlet for generations, trying to find the right answers. I am fast coming to the conclusion that there are none. I mean, maybe there's not. What do you know, dog? His name is Dog. I, I feel significantly happier about him now. Keep at it, dog. You is the goodest boy. Okay, so to get the secret star of stupid, I need a blue laser and a fan piece. 
how am I going to get a blue laser shot to here? Well, the obvious solution would be from out this one. Can I get that from here? As close as I can see. So we'll do this one first. Me, myself, and our two jammers. I am not even seeing any lasers in this particular puzzle, so guess I chose wrong. Whatever. Okay. So I've got a jammer. I've got Captain Shooty. Alright, so... I guess I'll start this way. Record. Jammer. I'm just going to have to wait here, aren't I? Hmm. I forget the feeling I've buggered up already. Alright, let's just put that there for a bit. Okay, so if I take this. That. Stand on the thing, okay. If I jam that now... Past me puts a thing there... Hmm... Um, I think I see what I need to do. To record this... Stand here a minute, let past me go through there... Okay, that should be sufficient. Past me, stand there. I called myself past me, I meant future me. Because future me needs to get this. Jam that. Gone, that's a cheap thing. Okay, so. Now. I record. Go through here. I take. No, I'm going to wait, give it a second, and let other me get through. Okay. Take my jammer. Jam that thing. Okay. So future me has joined me in here, takes the jammer. Open... Ah, no, if I stand here... Then... Future me could take his jammer through there, block Captain Shooty, hopefully reach the end? I'm hoping. I can't see what's around the corner from here, so I'm really hoping. Okay, I hope that's enough time as well. Take the thing. Let myself back out. Play. Okay. So I take this. Wait for future... Uh, sorry, past me. Yeah, past me. I'm ahead of you. I massively overestimate my own abilities when it comes to past me, uh, future me rather, don't I? Of course, this will take a while because I was trying to figure out what the solution was in real time. Cool. Jam that. Wait, what? Oh. It's on the other side of it. There we are. Nice. And we're free. Okay. So if I can't find a laser in the level that's facing that, that implies that somewhere in this level are some hidden redirectory doodars. Crystals. Uh, tripods. Whatever you want to call them. I thought one might be here. I don't know why I thought one might be here, it just looked like the sort of place this game would try and hide a thing. Alrighty. I'm just going to keep exploring the level for a minute, see if I can't find the uh, hidden pieces. I so say this is a very pretty game. 
Hey, QR code. What sayeth thee? The voice says that this world is a garden, that Odyssey is a desert full of ruins. There's plants, and a moon, and a water feature. But it's going to be more of a sea or a lake or... I hear a thing. I hear the whirrings of a fan. It might be inside of the level, but... I, I don't know what I'm seeking to achieve anymore. I just apparently went for a swim for no better reason other than it was there to swim in. Glad I take my... Uh, <laughs> Glad I'm taking myself seriously in this game. Alrighty. Let's, let's do another puzzle. I've probably got time for one more. I was wondering why I wasn't sprinting. It's because I was pressing the jump button because I'm an idiot. Ow, that was a tree. Line piece. A lay of the... What? A lay? I don't know what that word means. Alrighty, so I've got... Oops. Okay, laser doing a fan thing. Tripod holding a plate. Box holding this one open. I'm going to need another box to get into here. Hmm. Is there a purpose in me being up here? That gives me a better view of where I need to go, I suppose. Okay. I'm going to try this. I'm going to take this thing. And I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to take this thing. And I'm going to put it there. Then I'm going to explore this area, because I don't know what it is. Seems like there's nothing here, so I'm going to stand here. Okay. My plan is, future me will now basically collect all of those objects and put them on pressure plates along here. Don't know if that'll achieve all I need to do, but only really one way to find out, I suppose. Let's do. So actually I need to make sure I get to things before uh past me does. Oh, 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 oh. To make sure I could get to things before I was being blocked off in the uh, in the past. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. To get this box before past me moves it. Okay. Oh, Basby wasn't going to move that one. Okay. Oh, okay. I've uh, completely bugging it. Uh, I need to get all the bits back before past me locks them all off. No, 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 no. God damn it! I've done buggered it. <laughs> well, I guess what I'll do then is I'll use this opportunity to assess the... Uh... Okay, so... I need to get the laser shooting here to open this. But I also need the pieces to get past... Oh, Jesus wept. This is going to be an awful little bugger, isn't it?
I didn't pay attention, I came in for a red piece. They're the hard ones, aren't they? Oh well, let's press the suicide button. Bang. Okay. So... So I need past me to I'm going to do this nice and slowly just to give us plenty of time. I think I see what I need to do. Past me needs to take all these pieces one at a time and put them all in place over here. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't need this last one. I, st I stand on the last one. Okay. So now, future me can set up the laser beam system, hopefully. Run round, collect the thing, hopefully let himself out that way. Okay. I'll just give myself a couple more seconds. And hope I've not completely and royally buggered me said. Okay. Let's do it. Right. So, box. Uh, laser. Up on the thing. Laser. Laser. Damn, golden. Okay. No, I've buggered it again. Okay, I'm on the right track. I was just too slow with the... Uh, the thing. Okay. So, we take this. Okay. So... Take the fan first. Put the fan on the thing. I take the laser second, run through here, put the laser on the thing. I went for a box I don't need. I stand here and hope that uh, I've given future me enough time to do things. Let's try that. Okay. So. Take the laser. Connects all of the things. No, you bloody don't. Okay. Bugging it again. Okay, so I need to work with it more in conjunction with future me than I think I do. So, first thing I need to do is just wait, let future me do his thing a bit. So now if I take this one. put that here, then I'll take this one and put that here, then I'll take this one and put that here, then I'll take that one and put that here, and then I shall stand on here. I'm 
really hoping that works this time. Okay. okay. Right, so I need the box. And I need the laser. Up here. Now, there was a way of picking this up without losing everything. There we are. That's in space. It's connected to everything. Pass me opens up the way. Come on, pass me. Pull your finger out. Get a move on. There we are. All glory to the Dark Lord. No. Wait, I'm thinking of the Hypnotoads. All glory to the Hypnotoads. Victory for the Dark Lord. Haha. -ha. Up the ladder. Up the ladder. There we go. If I leave that up there, I wonder if that's the solution to the uh, this puzzle over here. Because that's uh, visible from out here, so if I can find that um, laser beam, maybe that's the solution. I don't know. I guess we'll find out that when I've explored the area. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm quite pleased with the the way that puzzle turned out. It's, it requires two or three more levels of thinking than usual. So I actually feel quite good about having completed that one, which is a good way. That's a good indicator of a puzzle. If you take a while to complete a puzzle. If it's designed well, you'll feel smart for having solved it, not dumb for having taken so long. And I do get that um, a lot of these puzzles, I, that's the way I end up feeling. I feel, oh, this took me an age to do because I'm an idiot, not because I'm smart. And that one, it made me feel like a smarty boy. Yay! Okay, I'm done. Bye. <laughs>